Oh, Brandon. <laughs> so thank you, Brandon. You've always been around. Even if I didn't know, you have been there. So uh, I'm, I'm honored to be here tonight. I just wanted to say that Brandon was very instrumental. The miracle marketing was very instrumental in um, my journey that I share uh, with my son. My son, Zachariah, is six years old and he's autistic. And I have a, a nonprofit, a 501c3 called Proud, Parents Reaching Out to Understand Development and Delays, which is um, an organization that I founded in honor of my son for autism awareness and special needs, all special needs, not limited to autism. And Brandon was very instrumental in, you know, just acknowledging what I'm doing. And I had the privilege in being honored in my hometown of Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, Last year, back in what, Brandon? October, November? November. November. Uh, and, and I mean, wow, that's like such an accolade. I mean, Vegas knows me as, you know, the least singer of 702 would have to, but to be honored in my hometown uh, is also an awesome. Right. You guys have seen her in Tango Unchained, but there's a lot more to this young actress, there's a lot more to her story. Just tell us a little bit about what you have going on on your own personal journey as we can talk about it right now. Um, well, uh, the main thing I'm doing right now is I have a book coming out entitled Eight Ladies. Um, I was involved in a very domestic, uh, violent relationship when I was 17 in college, and I didn't tell anyone about it. Um, I almost lost my life at 18 because of it. Um, and so uh, my book is really just to help um, anybody going through what I went through um, after I did Django, after I had to to Samuel Jackson. He really encouraged me to move and, and do what I had to do as an actor. That's what I did. So I'm here. So the book is just really just to help anybody out. I also started my charity Unclush, uh, which is just uh, for women and men and young girls. I actually started after I talked to an 11 year old girl uh, who was sexually assaulted. And she took my story and she was really inspired. So that inspired me to start the charity. And so all ages just kind of speak out about it. You know, I was very close to my family, extremely close to my friends, and I just, until I almost lost my life, that's when I said it. So uh, I just want everybody to know that they can speak out about it, they can uh, not be prideful about it. That's just all I'm trying to do. Because I'm only 24, so it happened yeah, when I was 17. So it happens to young girls all the time. So I just don't want anybody to be here alive. Like, all of us can just get help and know that. I'm here, they can talk to me again. <laughs> <laughs>